it is unwise after eating a fruit to throw away good seed when it is in your divine and godly purpose to be fruitful and multiply according to the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Radio, radio, shalom, 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 shalom. I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Wa Giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. I want to say Barakatham to all of those who are being diligent inside of this truth. You know, starting from the elders on down to the youth. Those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahushai, who is our Malak and our Edwan, and as ministers of the New Covenant, as ministers of the blood of the Lamb, it is all about the kingdom. Nevertheless, this is about acknowledging what faith is about. You know, for yourself, you know, like the scriptures makes it known, plain and clear, you know, work out your own salvation with uh, fear and trembling, you know. And through that, that's how you acquire uh, the understandings based upon what uh, Yahabashim Yahushai is giving unto you, you know, throughout those measurements that's within your inward parts, within your heart, you know. And not only just that, but you bear witness in seeing how the Lord is ordering your steps, you know, where you're exemplifying on how to uh, let your light to shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. All right. You know, I'm still uh, working at the very moment, family, but nevertheless, you know, um, you know, I'm bringing, uh, you know, to bring this out, this quick hit. But I'm gonna play this video, you know, so y'all could be able to, uh, you see, you know, and Barakathum unto this uh, this brother, man. Uh, Barakathum unto this brother, you know, for this. But uh, let me play it. Bear Jacob a son. So show me in the Bible where Jacob was judged for having multiple wives or concubines. Let's read this in another version, <clears throat> NLT. And close out. <laughs> Genesis 30 and 3. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. And Rachel told him, Take my maid, Billa, and sleep with her. She will bear children for me. And through her, I can have a family too. Because I heard him first. I said, Hold on. Rachel told him, take my maid, Billa, and sleep with her. She will bear children for me. And through her, I can have a family too. Pow. Oh! Getting out of this slave mindset or this Western Romanized culture. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible is beautiful. Getting out of this slave mindset or this Western Romanized culture. This is beautiful. It's going to be time to get busy in the near future. Verse 4, so Rachel gave her servant Billa to Jacob as a wife, and he slept with her. Billa became pregnant and presented, Genesis 30 and 5. Billa became pregnant and presented him with a son. And a son is even more of a blessing, or the heritage and the ownership or the inheritance is passed down through. And, and, and that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That's through the spirit. 
you know, if y'all could see, like, through the videos, you know, as far as, like, the part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and the part six, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and of this part right here, you know, this is, this, yeah, man, this video here, solidifying where the Spirit of the Lord is, is, is aiming at now in the minds, in the hearts of those who are growing to have insights out of the inward man on what submission is truly about. You know what I'm saying? Before a woman could submit unto the man, or before a man submits unto the uh, uh, unto the Lord, you know what I'm saying? He had to acknowledge the ways of the Heavenly Father. Meaning, you got to operate out of the spirit of meekness, which is a spirit of discipline, where you're seeing your life is not your own, and your way of living is according to thus saith the Lord. And that's just the way it is. But out of the faith, you know, you live your life based upon the things that are deriving from kingdom principles. You see? Where you live in the kingdom of God, you know, uh, from an inward man's perspective in your day-to-day -day living, you know? And by and by doing that, that makes you to be as a what? A, um, uh, 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 an ambassador of what the kingdom of God is about, you know, no matter where you're at, you see, like the scriptures made it known, you know, when a man's ways please the Lord, you know, he will make your enemies to be at peace with you, you see, it's benefits in that. Why? Because that in itself is of a kingdom principle, you see, and that's what Hamashiach was teaching us so that we can be able to uh, perceive things at the present moment. Uh, at, uh, with a mindset like we're uh, living physically in, in, in the future, like that type of sense. You see what I'm saying? Like how Hamashiach himself, he was, you know, he manifested, you know, during the time of uh, Rome, you know, he manifested physically. But we know through, out of the spirit, right? He was always there from the very beginning. You see, just like the very elect was there, they were, they, they, they were there at the very beginning. You see, but nevertheless, y'all see the